Today's video is literally just the culmination of a bunch of random videos because I haven't really been doing much for the past couple of weeks. I'll do a couple of voiceovers on a few of them just so you know like what's going on and everything, but I hope you guys enjoy and more content will be coming out soon. Do you guys remember the days where you could go to a car meet yeah. and actually not get bothered? It was actually kind of nice going there and seeing other people's builds and you know, it was a good time. Yeah, well, those days are over. Shout out to the takeover kids. Everyone associates all car people with just bad vibes and this police officer here wasn't necessarily being bad. It was just kind of super annoying. Uh, we were at a car meet and nobody was doing anything. Nobody, like, like nothing was happening. Um, but they pulled up, told us to leave from the parking lot we were at, which was fine, no big deal. We all left, but we were told to go to any other parking lot. And that's, that's exactly what we did. And they followed us here and we're like, hey, you guys can't be here either. And we were just like, you know what, man? Fuck this. <laughs> we're just gonna go home. You're over here trying to take everybody's plates. And, I don't know, man. We ended up leaving. We all went back to Jake's house and we're just kind of hanging out. Cameron found this little RC car in his garage or in his basement or something. So we all decided to try to help him like fix it or get it running at least. And it was a, it was a good time. So that was that, that was the end of our night. I think it's oh, fucking fast as hell, bro. Ah, oh, oh, there it goes. It's cooked. <laughs> you may be asking yourself, wow, Jacob, what happened to the STI cluster? I thought everything was fine. It totally was. Until, as you see, I blew a fuse. I was stuck trying to figure out why my head unit wasn't working and why I had no interior clock. To simplify things, pretty much when you put this STI cluster in, you wanna cut or depin one of the wires. It is a B28 wire. Uh, it's yellow with a green stripe going down it. Um, and literally that is the only thing I had to do for the 0405 cluster going into my 02 to 03 WRX. And as you see here, shit's back up and running smooth. So we almost didn't pop out to this little meet here. It was supposed to be just old American muscle cars, but we found a couple Subarus, a couple JDM cars, 370Z, and uh, this really old GT40. Well, not old, but you know, like this really cool fucking GT car, which I thought was dope. Um, and then also we saw an RX-7 big ass turbo. It, 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 was, it was a nice little meet. It was very organized, very nice. And uh, hopefully they do more stuff like this. It's like way better than like the meet that we went to, uh, you know, a couple days ago. That's funny. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of those times and I'm really glad that they brought me out. I almost said no, but they were like, dude, come to this car event or car show. It's like an old, old style car show. It's gonna be a bunch of older guys there. A lot of supercars, hypercars. We're all welcome. It's gonna be a good time. And honestly, it was. Saw a super, a couple supers, big turbo supers, vipers, um, a bunch of really cool stuff that usually I don't see too, too often when I go to meets or shows around here. So it was really, really nice and like a breath of fresh air to see things like this all put together very nicely. It was a good time, super good time. There's Porsches, McLarens, like I said, Vipers, Lamborghinis, um, big turbo Hondas. It was a really, really good event. I'm not sure who put this event together, but whoever did, kudos to you. It was done very, very well. Everybody was very respectful and it was super, super organized. Porsches. We ended up leaving there to go to another one after that wasn't too too far away and it was sort of the same like pretty much the exact same thing just a whole different location and older style cars like older Chevys bigger trucks and just old time cars it was super super awesome 
And then we ended up finishing up the day just by doing laser tag and um, I think go-karting and just hanging out for the rest of the day. We did also see the guy with the big turbo RX-7 again, and he had his back windshield in this time, which I thought was pretty funny. All in all, great turnout. I love both events and I wanna do stuff like this more often. It's just kind of hard to find them. I appreciate y'all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And like I said, we'll try to get more content out for y'all soon. It's just been kind of slow the past couple weeks. Peace out, you guys, and I will see you in the next video.